day three, Vagabond Vacations Tenerife. And uh, the first location is this abandoned antenna. Josh, I think you know the history of this place, right? So the history goes something like this. They went to build this thing in 2018. It was supposed to be a power plant. So this dish that we're looking at was going to have a bunch of mirrors on it. There's collect the sun energy, direct it to the middle, create power, all this. But the problem is they do that with some sort of like methane or gas or whatever. The village down there wasn't having it, so they don't want it. Then the, the funded went out, so they, they defunded the place, stopped building it. So much wind now. Went down in 2019, so here we are. Let's move on. Scoot. I wanted to have a little bit of an after party vibe going on because she's kind of dressed, dressed pretty fancy and we got the bottle of champagne but it's a very urbex occasion and then her kind of being very careless I guess like uh, yeah like after party fits the, the mood very well. There we go, a little bit more after party vibes. And Marie was not ready yet. She was not, she was still partying. Uh, hang the bottle more? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. The eyes, yeah. Maybe too windy. No. I don't know. Bend your left arm. Outside. Outside is hot. Is that it? Up. Up. Kind of, yeah. No, yes. Up. Now I shot some shots with sure. I thought about something that goes into like the, the Monroe direction, you know, with the flapping skirt. I'm not a hundred percent sure if it worked. Did it work? I think so. Let's see. You're like so-so also, right? Yeah. Sometimes things are so-so, but you got to try them at least in order to find out. And uh, at this point, I think we're going to move to the next spot, which is some hidden location from Anna, because Anna, the, the new model of today, has been living here for five years, so she knows the ins and outs of this place. Let's see what her secret spot is all about. Let's go! Something special planned at this secret location. A nice little scenery with all the models. We brought some towels, we brought some champagne, and we brought Clyde. So that's uh, something to work with. We'll show you a bit later. One of my favorites, the Beverly Hills housewives chilling somewhere. This time we're chilling near a very uh, kind of dangerous current, but that's gonna maybe add to the photo a little bit out of place, you know, I like that. So I'm gonna have all three models posed up here with their towels in the hair, a little bit of champagne, you know, and, uh, and a lot of jewelry, Beverly Hills housewives. So let me try to get into position and see where I'm gonna put the girls. Now we got the sunlight falling in from a certain angle that I got on kind of the shadows of the girls into the, the cave behind them. So I hope I can kind of capture that. It's a little nice touch right there. Yeah, you just push the pom pom. Watch out with the hair there. Oh my God. Three, two, one, and pose your face also. Yeah, 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 keep going. It seems like every time we get around like a really high rock place or some sheer cliff or anything like basically what we're seeing now, JC will always do stand better. Yes, yeah. stand, stand back. They'll always hang out backwards. So 
super happy with my shots. That's always what I live for. The one shot that I thought of in advance, like some kind of creative scene, nice story. And it worked out perfectly, even though it seemed very dangerous with the big waves in the background and so on. But I got perfect light on the girls, that golden hour, the real vibe of Beverly Hills Housewives just chilling at their crazy natural pool, let's call it that. So yeah, really cool. And I added a little bit of a POV element at the end with my bottle of champagne, so that's also cool. Always a little creative touch, POVs. We're gonna head back because the, the tide might be changing and then we don't want to get locked up here on this uh, Beverly Hills pool. <laughs> so let's move to the cars, see you guys there. We came to the north side of the island today because this side has all these beautiful black beaches and Juan wanted a black beach so I had to hold my promise, keep my promise. Now, uh, we are facing a little bit of an issue right now because the last time I was here was half a year ago and it seems that the sun is setting in a different angle right now. Well, it makes sense when you think about it. It uh, kind of slipped my mind. And so, it seems like the sun is going to disappear behind the, the hills and at all the black beaches right now that you can see from here. They're very beautiful, but they're in the shadow. So, we're gonna have to find maybe a higher spot to shoot so that we can still take advantage of the light. Let's see, we gotta figure this one out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make my promise, keep my promise of a delivering a black beach, black sand beach. But we did find some really cool scenery here. Very dark rocks and insane waves, insane big, dangerous waves in the background. So it does look awesome, especially with the girls all dressed in white. Kind of like this, this contrast of super dangerous nature and this innocent white clothed girls. So super dope stuff. Flying above the sun, flying above the sun Flying above the sun, flying above the sun oh. Oh. That looks super dope, the light falling from behind Marie Beautifully contouring her. Really nice spot. Loving it. I'm gonna go see what Josh and Sher are doing right now because I see something happening in the distance. Now we got the two girls doing laundry. We got little panties dropping down, implied, implied nudes. All right, the sun is setting. We're gonna move out pretty soon because it's getting colder. There's also a lot of splashing happening, which is wet, which makes the air wet. So almost time to wrap it up, but first we're gonna take a little group shot, a memory group shot with everybody together. This nice backdrop. Let's do that now, and then head out. The combination, the combo of uh, Cheer and Agata was some Latino Fuego, very nice. They have a really good energy together. So uh, those photos look amazing. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Anna, for this adventure. This was an yes. unexpected adventure to your secret spot. And we're not gonna tell you where the secret spot is because for that, you gotta contact Anna. Can you maybe drop your like Instagram? <laughs> yeah, well, Anna Tenerife Travel. Anna Tenerife Travel. She made it really simple for you guys to find her. <laughs> Sun is setting. We're gonna go have dinner. Ciao, ciao.